Hey, how's it going? It's Dave uh, with Dave's Cards A61 here, and uh, today I got a really awesome package. Um, it's a PSA return, right? So this is um, from Clay's Cards. Get right into it. Okay, flip that over so that I don't see grades flip it over so i don't see the grades i think i might have revealed one of those um so first off let me start with i've done a number of submissions with different folks and um i guess it really just comes down to a personal preference and a trust for that particular submitter right um but i've done i've done a couple of submissions with clay and and uh, i'll put up his instagram really good guy really good communication he's always um you know, he's always been real, real, uh, real good. Uh, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, since then, I've, I've went with three other submitters for a total of four submissions. Um, and I will tell you what you can't do is you, you, you really can't judge a grader um, or a submitter on how fast the cards get back. At least in my mind, it's really difficult. Um, I had a 10 day sub come back almost 40 days, 30, 30 something days with one guy. Some of Clay's stuff will come back in 45 days, which is a 45 day sub. So right on target. And then some will come back in 73 days. Um, so it's really difficult uh, to, to judge them on that. But Clay's service is good. His communication is good. Um, overall, I definitely recommend him if you're looking for a, for a grader. And you can see his prices there on the, uh, on the left for his most current uh, submission. Um, so this one here is obviously a Ronald Acuna Chrome. See the HMT 25, um, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to flip it. I already know the grades because I would I couldn't handle it, and I looked right. So I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to bring it down right. So this is a Chrome Acuna, and I got a 10 right. So and this is another Chrome Acuna. Uh, same card out of Topps uh, Chrome Update, and I got a 10. So did pretty well with those. In all fairness, um, between myself and also Clay as a backstop, I really do screen the cards pretty hard. I'm not submitting anything that that uh, I think wouldn't nine or ten, right? So this is this one's pretty cool. It's a Juan Soto to 50 from um, uh, Bowman's Best. And I got a 10, and I'd have to look again. I'll post it up here, but I believe this is like a population two uh, on this card, and I have number 25. Kind of a bummer. It's not a jersey number. His jersey number is 22, but uh, still a very cool card, and at some point, that one will be available. Um, so this is a Wander Franco, and so this one was pulled out of a rookie card explosion box. And there you go. So just an example of, uh, you know, getting some stuff from Ricky Card Explosion boxes and, you know, f uh, spent 10 bucks or I'm sorry, 11 bucks to grade it. And I think these are going for about 45. So in terms of, you know, getting my money back for the money I spent for the Ricky Card Explosion box, it's easy if you can, you know, I want to say easy, but if you get a card like this, um, you can get some of that money back. And um, I don't really think about it too much. Okay, so this one's a Mookie. There's a Mookie Betts. This one, interestingly enough, was sent in the same time frame for the same submission, but he broke the submission up into groups, and this one came back in 45 days-ish, um, and then the rest of it, like I said, came back in about 70 or something like that, right? So this is a Mookie Betts, tri uh, top traded, batting, and I got a 10. So pretty stoked. Very de definitely, definitely did very well on this uh, on this submission. Okay, the next ones, um, and he puts them in bags too. So they're not perfect fits, but I mean they are protecting uh, protection from card case for your, from your cases getting scratched. Okay, so this is a Tatis um, 2016 Bowman Chrome. Boom nine. <laughs> so this one was kind of a bummer. Um, I'll, I'll have to keep searching for a 10 uh, in this one, and I, I just want to own a 10 on it. I have a couple of raw. So I submitted to, to Clay two of these, and he sent one back. He said, hey, dude, don't send this one. It won't, it won't 10. Um, 
but you know looking at this one it looked like it was pretty good right um clay looked at the surface corners edges everything looked good so it might be a centering thing let me know if y'all if y'all can spot um a centering defect or or whatnot left or right up or down but yeah i only got a nine so he sent me back the, the uh, that's just an uh, example of his customer services. If you see something and it won't gem, he's, he's going to ask you, hey, if you're looking for a 10 out of this, and you know maybe don't submit it and save the 11 bucks. So instead of him just submitting it and getting his cut of that uh, $11 submission, he just sent it back. So this is a Cody Bellinger. I got this off Sports Slots, and I got a 10. Got this off Sports Slots for $5 um, when, co when his stuff really started going up. It's really hard to get these usually come out of off center right so they're usually out out of uh this one was centered pretty good and i submitted it so i bought two of those and i submitted one um so this next one is uh this one has gone way way up since i submitted it right um and i got a 10 boom so uh, these cooled off. They were going for upwards of 110, and now I think they're pretty, pretty close to around 85 to 90, pretty consistently now. I hope they go up. I think I think I'll probably hold on to that one for a little while. All right, so this is the Juan Soto HMT 55 uh, out of Top Scrum, and I got a 10. All right, so pretty good with that. And last one, just flip it. It's a 10. So um, the only grade that I did not get, unfortunately, was uh, my Tatis, which is a huge PC card for me, right? Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, and that's why I say I'll keep chasing it uh, to get to get a ten in it. Either you know buy a couple more raw and submit them, or maybe I'll just pony up and and, and buy the ten. Uh, I'd like to get some refractors of it too. Uh, okay, so next things that I have going on will will definitely be. Um, I'm going to do a grading video, right? And I don't want to give it away completely, but I bought one of these, right? Um, and it's called a loop. It's a jeweler's loop. I believe it's called uh, 20 times is the one that I bought. Um, it's pretty cool because it has a light on it. So it's, uh, it really allows you to get in there and do and take a look at the corner. So stay tuned for that. It's a video that I've been working on. Um, and I wanted to, to jump on the, the kind of the grading parody that people have been doing. I know Pepino Man did one and a couple other folks did like a parody of, of grading and grading services. And so I'm going to do one of those and uh, I'll kind of show you what, how, how, how I've been using this bad boy to, to uh, evaluate cards. And uh, hopefully I can continue to have this kind of, um, this kind of success in submissions. I mean... How many cards are this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Um, easy math. Ten cards, one nine. That's a ninety percent um, ten rate. So, and one nine. That's uh, the nine is a bummer. I would have taken a, a nine in, in you know quite a few of those other ones, but because that's a, a definite PC card. The rest of these are, are maybe hold, they're hold, either hold now or sell nows. Uh, Bellinger's cooled off, so I'll hold. Um, Mookie's super cold right now in the hobby. Um, I'll hold. There's some rumors of, about the Padres maybe making a move for him. Maybe it would. Maybe his stuff would become PC. That would be unbelievable. I know you Red Sox fans are not like, don't even like that discussion, but um, who knows? All right, fellas, thanks uh, for watching. Like comment and uh, subscribe love to know which of these cards was uh, was your favorite in the submission and uh, if you guys have any submission tips or if you could tell me in terms of centering um, if you think this was the reason why it ended up getting a nine um, all right thanks